Okay, here we are back again with more Dragon Age Origins, and uh, I'm here back in camp, and I'm not really sure what we're gonna do this time. Uh, not really. Lots more, more, we have some more correspondence. Oh yeah, we have Kaylin's documents. Um. Not sure why that's a bit, but anyway, but, but the Kalen's documents we found at uh, Ostagar when we came back to or Ostagar, um, basically about Kalen's relationship with Orle and uh, possibly even um, setting aside his marriage to Honora in order to um, broker a marriage alliance with uh, the Empress of Orle. Um, which, let me tell you, uh, knowing what I know about sort of the extended Dragon Age, Dragon Age universe, that probably would not have happened even if he'd lived because uh, the Empress of Orle, uh, she doesn't strike me as the type to do that uh, ever. So I really don't think that would have happened, but that was uh, definitely something that was being discussed before Kaelin died, which is kind of shitty. Let's be real, it's kind of shitty. But I think what I might do this episode is just, like, do some party banter because we haven't had much party banter lately and I should probably do that. And there's some really good places that are really easy to get lots of party banter at. So I think we might do that just because I like to get a lot of party banter and I think it's fun and just doing, like, an episode where we just run around and listen to people talk about stuff and maybe argue about things is funny to me. So I think we're going to do that just to have a relaxing sort of episode before we start the neck because honestly like really the next thing on the to-do list right now cuz I can't let's see I can't finish this until I can get until I get to the alien edge uh I can't finish this because the last hooded courier is also in the alien edge we won't we I won't get be able to get to the alien edge for a while yet uh, this, I uh, finished in the Brazilian forest. That's the Brazilian forest. I think the, la the last scrolls of Bannister are also in the Brazilian forest. Wynn is actually, uh, has, Wynn's companion quest is in the Brazilian forest. Um, I'm pretty sure all of, both of these are also, um, require me to have access to the alienage and, and f parts of the of the main mission that don't come until I finish, uh, until I finish, uh, this here, this, this quest here. Uh, these, I think I'll be able to, I, I'm not sure where I'll be able to find those. Toxin extract samples, 15 toxin extract samples. Let me see if I can get 15 toxin extract samples. I've been selling them all to Bodan. Yeah, your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Honestly, Bodan... I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy his, and I have collected. And with your discount. Like, he's just as good as a, stor a storage vehicle as anything else. Toxin extracts. Oh, man, I only have seven. That sucks. That sucks. Maybe I can, uh, I wonder if I could go to, I wonder if I could get some more of those, I wonder if I could buy some of those from the, in the Brazilian forest. I wonder if that'd be possible. It'll be something to look out for next time we go there, but I think this time I'm going to do party banter. So yeah, let's, I'm going to go to Denerim, because that's a really good place to do it. Because we're very unlikely to encounter, Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to put Stan in my party for once. Yes. Maybe win. Maybe Morgan. Indeed. I don't know. I'm just gonna see what 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 happens. We're gonna go to Denerim, and then we're gonna uh, do so yeah, party banter. Uh oh, spaghetti o. Oh, it's just this guy. Let's see if he has anything. You have coins, stranger. 
With Orzammar closed off, old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Yeah, times have changed, but let's see that discount. I don't know if he has anything for me. Uh, that, I'm not gonna need that. Um, nah. Nothing interesting. Thanks anyway, Tigran. Alright, let's enough. finish going in the room. Do I have a quest turn in? I didn't think I did. Maybe I do. Good to see you again. No, he's lying. He's lying. He's a liar. I don't have a quest turn in there. Stupid liar. Let's go in here. This is the best place to get banter in this game. You were very quiet, Stan. Only compared to some. Okay. <laughs> That's, yeah, sure. Works, okay. So, are you going to continue staring at me as if I am covered in eels? Eels would be something. Oh, prudery. How charming. I expected paranoia. This is much better. I prefer to be stared at lustfully, if at all. Keep trying, then. Oh? Then shall I demonstrate an act or two, and you may tell me hot or cold? Oh, Morgan, Answer please time. don't. Cold. <laughs> you are a tease. Oh, dear. I think Morgan is enjoying flirting with him. What do you think? I mean, I get it. Like, look at him. I'd want to climb that tree, too. Uh, if I wasn't already taken, and if he was actually available. But just remember, Morrigan, I'm his Kadan. You have a barbed tongue, Morrigan. Why do you treat others in this way? I owe you no explanation. There is no writing on my forehead that says, Please, guide me. You are traveling with these people. It behooves you to be civil. You are too transparent, old woman. Do not bring up our companions when all you wish is for me to be civil to you. I am not one of your circle apprentices to hang on your every word. I am not Alistair who sees in you a surrogate mother. No, it is obvious you are nothing like Alistair. Take your lectures elsewhere. They mean nothing to me. Ooh, ooh, tiffy tiffy. Ah, mages. They're so snarky. This should be easy. Do you know of the Cassandra, the Sundew in the common tongue? I do not believe so. No, you are so alike, I thought you kindred. What is that supposed to mean? What is the Sundew? A flower. Oh? I am a flower, am I? How unexpected. 
That entraps and devours insects. Ah, <laughs> oh, now that I expected. <laughs> hey, I'd be proud of that. I like that. I'm sure it's a very attractive flower right up until it eats you. You must be vastly relieved, Wynne. Relieve? I do not understand what you mean. Most your age would spend much of their time preoccupied wondering when they might perish. Yet you already know. Eavesdropping is not considered very polite, dear. A fortunate thing, then, that I do not consider myself bound by such rules. In response to your question, I know only that I died once. I do not know how much time I have left, only that it is very little. That is not so very different than before, surely. You are an old woman. One who keenly appreciates that our time in this world should be spent doing what is important. I have always lived by such a philosophy. How reassuring. <laughs> I don't think that's very reassuring, actually. I mean, it's true. I think sometimes Wynne does kind of stick her nose places where she probably shouldn't. Like... Like, okay, if someone wants your advice, that's fine. If they don't, though, maybe you should just step off, you know? Like, I love you, Wynne, but Morrigan made it more than clear that she has absolutely no interest in your life lessons. It must have been very difficult for you and your mother, Morrigan, to live always hiding from the Chantry and its hunters. Your pitying tone is as unwelcome as it is unnecessary, old woman. There was nothing difficult about our lives in the slightest. But surely you must have drawn notice from time to time. No matter how powerful you claim to be, you would not wish the full attention of the Chantry. Hunters did come into the wilds from time to time. They did not leave. And the interest of the Chantry was never aroused. I find that difficult to believe. I imagine you find many things difficult to believe. Your own preference for the leash you wear, for instance. There are good reasons for the world to fear mages, even despite our best intentions. Your best intentions, perhaps. Their fear concerns me not at all. Fair enough. Morgan also has no interest in living in the world, so... You can stop flinching, Sten. I'm not going to harm you. I do not fear harm to myself. What is that supposed to mean? An unbound mage is like a wildfire, as prone to simply consume itself as it is to devour all that surrounds it. I do wish you wouldn't refer to mages as it. <laughs> yeah, we're still people, Sten. Aren't you chilly, Sten? Chilly? I don't know this word. It's much warmer where you're from, isn't it? Don't you feel cold? I suppose. I don't imagine we can find a cloak in your size, can we? Hmm. What? Nothing, nothing. Don't mind me. Now I wonder where I could get a skein of good wool yarn. Sten. She's going to grandmother you. She's going to knit you a blanket, Sten. <laughs> Have you
Have you given thought to perhaps prolonging your life by forcing another spirit into your service? Of course not. I would. Of course, I am still young, beautiful, and my life is my own, while you are bound to that circle. Hmm. I wonder why I asked. It would be a silly thing, prolonging your life. A waste. Think what you will, Morrigan. When the end comes, I will go gladly to my rest, proud of my achievements. While you, you will see how empty your life was. You will realize that because you never had love for others, you never received love in return. And you will die alone and unmourned. You speak of meaningless things. I need no one to mourn me, old woman. More's the pity. <laughs> I think that was a classic wind burn there. All right. So, have you changed your mind, Stan? I dream about you and I, if you must know. What? You would, even if I were interested in a small thing like you. The Kunari Act is... unpleasant. Unpleasant? Unpleasant how? Now I really am interested. Deadly. <laughs> what? And what if I didn't mind? I enjoy a little... animation. Uh... You'd be less animated afterward. It sounds as if I am arousing your passions already, my dear Stan. Parshera, why do you pester me? <laughs> because tis amusing, that is why. It is pretty funny. Also, I'm pretty sure he's not being truthful about that whole it's deadly thing, because I don't think that would work very well if it was actually that deadly. Honestly, I really think sometimes that Sten is just taking the piss. <laughs> Why do you keep looking at me like that, mage? I beg your pardon. I didn't mean to stare. I've never seen a Kunari before. You can blink once in a while. I'll still be here. <laughs> You seem so deep in thought, my dear Sten. Thinking of me, perhaps? The two of us together at last? Yes. Ha! <laughs> I... What did you say? <laughs> you need armor, I think. Oh my god! And a helmet. And something to bite down on. How strong are human teeth? How strong are my teeth? Gnari teeth can bite through leather, wood, even metal given time. Which reminds me, I may try to nuzzle. What? Nuzzle? If that happens, you'll need an iron pry bar. Heat it in a fire first, or it may not get my attention. Perhaps it would be better if we did not proceed. Are you certain? If it will satisfy your curiosity. Yes. Yes, I think it is best. Yeah, he's now taking the piss. Good job, Sten. Good job. You've outwitted her. You've outwitted her. It's schmooples. I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Of course. Let's see. Uh, are you feeling better about what happened with Marshallin? Yes, a little better. Time heals all wounds, so they say. Scars remain, but they are just colors in the painting that is my life. No? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I wish things had happened differently, but knowing her and knowing me, I don't think it could have. We had good times though, and I look back on those fondly. Whatever happened after will never change the truth of the past. 
You know you can talk to me if you need to. It's not so bad. Look, now I have new friends, a new family. In spite of it all, life... life is good. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Okay, so that was some banter. Uh, and I think we'll probably leave it there for now. As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!